when you have your elephant facing forward, you can go ahead and see um, where the center of the head is, where the um, cheeks are, and where you want the mouth to be. So I like to have it um, somewhere along this bottom um, edge of the ear, going forward towards the bottom of the chin. So I find that this is a good spot to put my tusk, and I am going to add it on the other side as well. Um, you can go ahead and um, also check the round that it's on. So if your first tusk is on this round, for example, just trace your finger over to the other side and make sure you are on the same round, like so. So when you're ready to actually attach your tusk, go ahead and grab white yarn You're going to first pull the yarn end through, like so. Make sure you have a long enough tail to begin with so that um, it doesn't come undone later. You are going to weave in the ends. So now you're going to start off with a chain, like so. And then you're going to yarn over, insert your hook under the same stitch, yarn over, pull through a loop, and we're gonna repeat that again. So yarn over, insert your hook under the same stitch, yarn over, pull through a loop. When you do that, you should have five loops on your hook, and I know it's pretty hard to count here because this type of yarn is um, kind of like fluffy and blended together, so it's hard to tell, but there's one, two, three, four, and five loops. So once you've got five, you're going to yarn over, pull through all five of those loops. You may need to wiggle your crochet hook a little. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through for a chain. And then insert your hook back into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through like a slip stitch. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and fasten off. Have a long enough tail so you can weave in the ends. And what I like to do is, um, instead of using a yarn needle, I just use my crochet hook to pull it through the same stitch. And I'm going to pull these through underneath. And you're going to try and weave in your ends so that they are no longer visible. And um, here I accidentally pulled out some stuffing, so I'm just going to kind of um, pull it right back through the stitch. <laughs> Go back in there. <laughs> we don't want all this stuffing coming out. And pulling this yarn end through as well. So that's what I do to kind of hide my yarn ends. As you can see, the elephant now has his two little tusks and um, he's just about ready. Got just a few more finishing touches from here on out.